Welcome to the Gorilla 7 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create, modify, remove, and merge breakdown sheets. As you probably know, when you import your screenplay, a single breakdown sheet is created for each scene. You can add more breakdown sheets to your schedule, or remove them, or even merge them. Let's take a look at the toolbar at the bottom of the breakdown sheet screen. You will see a series of buttons. Some of them are self-explanatory by their icon, but if you would like to know what a button does, hover over it with the mouse until the tooltip appears. This button creates a new breakdown sheet, deletes the breakdown sheet, duplicates the breakdown sheet, etc. Let's create a new breakdown sheet. Select the New Breakdown Sheet button. Enter the Interior Exterior field and select one of the options from the drop down list. Enter the set information. This drop down will show you sets that already exist for your current schedule. And then enter the time of day for the scene. The color of the strip is determined by the interior exterior field and the day night field. To see what colors are assigned to what entries, select the Stripboard Colors button. Not only can you change the color for a particular combination for a strip, but you can also change the text color. If you use a dark color, you might want to use white for the color for the text for that strip. OK, let's go back to the new breakdown sheet. Fields that you need to take particular care entering are page count and scenes. This is where you enter the scene number. Since this information is usually imported from the screenplay, it is essential that you manually enter this data when creating a new breakdown sheet. You can, of course, also enter a short synopsis for the scene. Now that this scene is created, you can add elements to the scene, including cast members, props, set dressing, etc. The scene will also appear in the scene navigator at the top of the list. To re-sort the list, click on the Sort Breakdown List button. It's as simple as that. Next, let's display the breakdown sheets in a list. Click on the List Breakdown Sheets button. This will show you all the breakdown sheets in a list view, making it easy to quickly scan all your breakdown sheets for your schedule. You can even sort the list, similar to an Excel spreadsheet, by clicking on the label. The fields that show an entry box are editable, so you can modify information for the breakdown sheet right here in this list view. Notice that in this schedule, the sheet field is empty. This is an optional field. You don't have to enter anything in this field. But sometimes a single breakdown sheet can have more than one scene. So that is why it is here. To populate this field, you can, of course, enter it manually. But you also have the option of automatically filling this field by selecting the File pull-down menu and then selecting the Renumber Sheets option. You can also renumber your scenes. So if, for example, the scenes are not numbered numerically, 10A, 11B, etc., you can select the Renumber Scenes option to automatically renumber your scenes beginning from one. To go to a particular scene, click on the arrow. The next thing I want to show you is how to find elements on breakdown sheets. Let's say I want to find the scenes with a certain prop and or a certain cast member on them. Select the Find Elements on Breakdown Sheets button. Go ahead and select a category. Let's say Props. And we want to find all scenes that have the element Plunger. I also want to find all scenes with white sandals. Notice 
it is building a list here of all the elements to find. Now I'm going to click on the Find button. And what it's going to do is show me all the breakdown sheets that have those elements scheduled in the list view. Next, let's merge two breakdown sheets. I'm going to go to the scene that we just created and add a few elements to that scene. I'm going to select a different scene just to see what elements are in that scene. So both these scenes have different elements attached to them. Let's merge them into one breakdown sheet. Select the Merge Breakdown Sheet button. Then select the breakdown sheet to merge into the currently selected one. Notice that the elements are combined and the scene field is modified to show both scene numbers. Next, Gorilla allows you to copy elements from one breakdown sheet to another. Now that this breakdown sheet has a whole bunch of elements, let's copy all these elements to another sheet. Select a breakdown sheet that you want to copy elements to and click on the Copy Elements To button. They will all appear on the breakdown sheet. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.